I need to be a bit honest about how I'm feeling right now after two months of being a full-time indie game developer. And I'm not sure if it's needing to be honest with you as my audience or honest with me as the developer and the designer of this game. But I think it's important to talk about your feelings out loud, even if they're difficult feelings. And I think I've been feeling ultimately very strange. Uh, maybe some imposter syndrome splashed into there, maybe it's just some generalized anxiety about moving from an exploration phase where we've been, especially over on the Twitch streams, exploring kind of the, the shape of what my 2D mining and crafting game could become. And that's been really fun. It's been really freeing to just spend time maybe just talking about the design, making design documents, coming up with plans, kind of doing a little bit of prototyping, making sure that it feels good. And that exploration phase is fun. But now I've nailed down a lot of the big chunky feelings about what this game is gonna be and look like, and it's time to start moving into the production phase. And that feels strange. Because if you've been around, I've left a few updates like this. I want to become a full-time indie game developer because I wanna build a business and I wanna to prove to myself that I can make enough money to support myself, which I live a frugal life. It's, it's a pretty low bar to hit, but it's pretty hard to do through the lens of game development and making a business in general. It's hard to see profitability within a couple years, let alone in like, I wanna do this in a year and a half. I wanna make my business a sustainable business. And because of that, I feel an overwhelming amount of pressure to try to get stuff right. Even though I know in the back of my head, I can logically know that my process as a game developer is kind of just planting a garden and seeing what grows and seeing what looks good and seeing what plants are thriving and which ones are withering away and focusing on the fun. It is much more letting the game come to me and me just exploring what that game could look like throughout the whole experience. But as I've switched from trying to get into a production mindset, I'm getting caught up. And I think I'm getting caught up in my own way in a few different ways. Namely, I'm trying to make the game look really good. Because I'm streaming the content and creating YouTube content, one of the things I wanna do is make the game look good. So you'll click on a video or so you'll watch the Twitch stream. And I think that sort of pressure isn't helpful. So, almost in real time right now, I think a solution could be to just focus on the mechanics of the demo. I have a prototype put together, but I need to get to the demo phase so I can actually get a Steam page created. We can actually come up with a name for the game. We can name the little robot that's gonna be the mining character, and we can just move forward with getting that demo put together. I think that could help. If I focus less on what it looks like and more on getting some really good progress on the systems, because that's the other big bucket of work I'm feeling here is that I'm spending a lot of time making things, maybe putting polish on the pig well before it's even become a pig. Putting, what's the metaphor I mean? Putting lipstick on the pig, right? I'm trying to make it look pretty even though maybe the core systems aren't even in place quite yet. And I think I gotta step back away from that polishing. Even though polishing is fun and it can make it look better and it can, hit those goals of trying to make something that's clickable on YouTube, I think it's hampering my confidence in my ability to be a game developer. And I think that's where it is. As I am moving away from prototyping, which prototyping is fun and free and easy, and you can just kind of move code around and slap stuff together really quick and dirtily. Dirtily? Yeah, I'm kind of dirtling around, but quick and dirty, slapping code together to get it to just work for now because you're just prototyping, moving into more formalized systems, moving into more formalized art directions. I'm feeling like an imposter almost constantly of, gosh, my code is crap. Is this system going to be good in the future? I'm worrying about things that probably don't need to be worried about yet. It's okay to refactor in a couple months once I have a bit more hindsight, but you have to make decisions. And I'm talking to myself, Andy. Andy, you have to make decisions now so that in a couple months you can have the hindsight. We have to keep moving forward and keep driving towards that demo state. So I thought it'd be helpful to be honest with you. It's been about two months now and I'm feeling weird. I'm settling it into this feeling like a job. I'm settling into the streaming cadence feeling more like a job. And that's not a good feeling because like new things are fun and exciting and it feels weird to kind of hit that plateau of it not being new and exciting anymore. It just being my day-to-day -day basis. And I'm incredibly 
excited to be here, to be making indie game development stuff again, to be making content for you, to be doing really fun Twitch live streams and meeting a bunch of new people through doing that, seeing the cool stuff you're all working on. But I have to be honest, I just feel weird. And I'm hoping to shake that feeling here if I can just focus in on some mechanics, get some big systems built out this month, make some big decisions about maybe the name and stuff like that, but, but maybe not big decisions, right? Maybe that's the problem is that I'm thinking about stuff too big, too grand. I'm putting too much pressure on any decision. And so I'm almost becoming this analysis paralysis where, again, I know how I like to make stuff. It's just exploring concepts, seeing what works, keeping those things, doubling, tripling, quadrupling down on the fun stuff and removing the stuff that doesn't feel very good anymore. And that inherently means there's gonna be wasted effort, but it's not wasted effort because we're growing and learning all the time. I'll be live right after I post this over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Aramis. If you have ideas for how I can manage going from this kind of prototyping phase into more of a demo production phase, leave them down in the comments or come let me know over on Twitch. I love to hear what you think because I need a community around me to help me keep going, to give me positive feedback and give me negative feedback for when you think I could do something better. I'd love to hear all of it. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you have a good Friday and a nice weekend. Until next time, I've been Aramis. Thank you so much for watching.